remember since this government came to power, they have been doing table payment. I cannot remember how long they have been doing biometric. They did biometric auditing of all the workers. Not once, not twice. They keep doing table payment. Now, the latest one is no longer just table payment. I have just heard from workers across the state. I've heard from workers across the state that workers are being forced to sign vouchers with a salary. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Natural state workers are being forced right now to sign vouchers with a salary. Mm. In all the departments, they called them for table payment, they went for the payment, they were asked to sign the voucher, they asked for the salary, they said that, that they must sign. If they refuse to sign, they will be dismissed. All the workers today are signing vouchers that have not been paid, mm. and those of them that said they will not sign, they said they will dismiss them. And out of fear of dismissal, the workers have been signing the vouchers. They have been signing the vouchers, no salary. But they have already signed the voucher that they have been paid. No salary has been remitted to their own accounts. No table payment has been made to them. In any table payment, when you go to receive your salary, after you sign, an accountant will be sitting there to pay you. In this instance, there are no salaries, but workers have already signed vouchers that they have been paid. That they have been paid. A lot of them are crying in silence, but because of the heavy intimidation of unions, even the unions have been so scattered, they have not been able to do anything. As the opposition leader in this state, I want to say that this, we have never had this before, that workers will be forced to sign vouchers when they have not received the salary. And nobody has told them why they are doing this. Nobody has explained to them. Now, this worker that have already signed, they have gone home. We don't know what has happened to their salary. When we discovered, we heard that recently EFCC came into this state. They are trying to find out what has happened to the bail out President Buhari gave our governor. They received a false bail out to pay salaries. It has not been paid. The salaries were not paid. They received a second bailout to pay salaries. Workers were not paid. They received Pari Club refund one to pay salaries with clear instruction from President Buhari. Our governor did not pay salaries. They now receive another Pari Club refund number two. Another clear instruction from the president that our governor should pay the salaries and the gratuities and pensions of the people of natural state, workers and retirees of natural state, they were not paid. And we were also told that recently the president, in good conscience, to sign vouchers they have been paid so that these vouchers will be carried to Abuja to prove that Governor Makura has been paid salaries mm -hmm. up to date. That is the reason why workers are now being compelled to sign the vouchers and, and with, without payment. And they are being compelled to sign it. They are under threat. If you refuse to sign, they will remove your name. You will be dismissed from the state. Now, I am worried about this development. Africa is worried. We are very, very worried. Because one, these workers are our brothers and sisters. Number two, we know that there is a lot of suffering in this state. We have never suffered in this state like we are doing in our history. We have never suffered under any government like we are suffering under this government. I know there have been challenges in the past, but none of them has equal what is going on in natural state today. We also know that the money that were released to this government are sufficient to pay all the salaries and allowances and pension and gratuity of all workers in natural state. What has happened is that these monies were diverted, completely diverted by the state government to do white elephant projects so that those in government can make money. If you pay salary, there is no kickback. If you pay salary, they are not going to take a bribe. But if you do an airport in your village, you can multiply the money of that airport, you know, and take the money away. So this is what is going on. How can we reach a point in our state that workers are compared to some vouchers with salaries? And nobody is explaining it to them. Nobody. So I am calling again on our, our, our leader, our president. They should send a high-level investigation to find out what is happening in natural state. Why are workers being compelled to sign vouchers without salaries? Mm. Yes. Number two, if anybody goes from natural state to Abuja to claim that salaries have been paid, 
I am speaking on good authority. Those salaries have not been paid. They are empty butchers. The workers that signed them have not collected their salaries. Every agency of the federal government, from the presidency to the minister of finance, and to all security agencies, you know that what is going on is the workers are signing vouchers and salaries have not been paid. Any claim from the state government that those salaries have been paid will be fraudulent. Mm -hmm. They have not been paid. paid. And we want the president to ask the governor, why is he compelling workers to sign vouchers without payment? We have not heard of this anywhere in the world. We have not heard of anywhere in this country. We want to find out what is going on. Now, these are the reasons why people on the edge in this state, people are tired. I want the president to read us. We learned that yesterday or so, we read in the papers that uh, they are asking for additional payment of the bailout of Paris Club uh, uh, Part 3 now.